what would be the best first introduction to Korean language for somebody who doesn't know it at all? Mm. Slang! I've prepared a list of 10 Korean slang words. Okay, yeah. Alright, so next Good. word Good. is a little bit more complicated, mm -hmm. but I, I think you can get it. And so. that word is setelie. Setelie. Mm -hmm. Example? Okay, you post a photo on Instagram, mm -hmm. and then I comment yes. on your photo saying setelie. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful is a part of this. Remember how I told you Koreans like to shorten things? Oh, okay. So this is like three words put into one word. So beautiful is one of them. Think of the planet Earth. Mm. Mm. Massive. <laughs> I would not comment on your photo saying that you're massive. <laughs> okay, I'm going to count this as, as you, you getting the meaning of the word because Overall, it does mean really, really beautiful. These three syllables are a shortened version of 세상에 제일 예뻐. 세, 제일 예. 세상 means world. 제일 means the best. And then 예뻐 means pretty. So 세상에 제일 예뻐 <gasps> means the most beautiful in the world. <gasps> so like super, super pretty, very, very pretty. So that's what it means. I I would like to use that these words to yeah you know the Korean people yes. on, the, on Instagram. I would like to say that. Do that, yeah. I'll show you how yes, you write yes, that. Yes, and yes. Yeah, you should use that on yeah. Instagram to comment on Korean people's yeah. photos. Yeah. <laughs> Slang word number five. Good. Is chimek. Chimek. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. No, oh, I no. should I shouldn't have done this. It's it's related. I'm a fool. No. Chimek is a noun. Noun. So it's okay. some it's it's something. My okay, my my tummy. No, it's related to food. That, that's why that's why I, I touched my tummy, because it's related to food. It's a food term. Is it Korean food or? Here's the clue. It's a combination of foods that Koreans really, really like. Kimchi! <laughs> Uh, funny enough, kimchi does have the chi in it, but no, that's not where it comes from. Uh, okay. uh, it's not kimchi. The pancake one? No. Uh, bajeon? No. No. Uh, tteokbokki? No. No, it's not tteokbokki. Uh, how about the hot, 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 hot pan? Hot, hot, hot pan. Another clue is one is a food and one is a beverage. Mm -hmm. It's it's very not a typical Asian food. Yeah, if you, if you think about it, you would think more of like Westerners having that type of food. I would say Beer. yes. Yes. Beer, okay. It's some food with beer. Cause mek so mek chips. Not chips. Mm. Mek uh in chimek comes from mekju. Mekju is beer in Korean. Mm. So now you just need to figure out what chi stands for. Think of English. What food in English starts with chi? Chips. Not chips. <laughs> chicken! <laughs> chicken! So chicken and a beer. Chicken and beer, chimek. Chicken <gasps> oh. mekju. Chimek is like such a staple phrase. Everybody's like, you know, do you want to go for some chimek? It's it's a very very common thing in Korea. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we Japanese we don't have such uh, combined words together like really? foods and beverages. Yeah? yeah, we don't have such words. That's interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Koreans combine everything into one. Slang number seven. I think seven. we're at number seven now. Already. Wow. Hang on. Seng oi. Seng oi. Seng oi. Seng oi. Oil. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Not oil. Okay. Oil. Oh. Oh. Wow. It's, it's hard to pronounce. That. Yes. Co yeah. Korean L's are really, really hard, I think, for foreigners to pronounce. Yes. Um, but also think of this as a combination of two words. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I think everything <laughs> we learned yes. today. Okay. Clue. Okay, saying what it has to do with this area of a person's body. The face! Mm-hmm. Ol part is face. Because in Korean, face is olgul. So saying means eyes. No. Skins. No. No. It, 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 it's the kind of face. It, it, it's a description. Saying is a description of a face. So pretty face. Not pretty. Hmm. Let's say you randomly meet me on the street. Okay. You ask me. 오늘은 메이크업 했어? 오늘은 메이크업 했어? 
And then I tell you, 아니야, 아니, 메이크업 안 했어요. 생얼, 생얼이에요. Makeup. What about makeup? You did you put makeup on your face? Yeah, you yes, that that's the correct translation of this what you asked me. Did you put makeup? And then I answer, no. 아니, yeah. Oh. 생얼이에요. It's like a ah oh, the face without makeup. Yes. Oh, bare face. Bare face. Hangon means bare face. Ah. The eighth eighth word Ooh. slang word in Korean is pulkum. Pulkum. <laughs> Close. Pulkum. Pulkum. Wow, mm. I imagine like that these like pronunciation is very hard. Even you know, Japan and Korea is located like very next to each other. But I didn't, I never imagine you know pronouncing pronunciation of Korean is so hard. It is very very difficult. I <sighs> attest to that a hundred percent. And yeah, I, I never noticed how different Japanese and Korean pronunciations yes. are. Like yes. wow, very different. More okay. to me because it's more Korean sounds like more detail. Very, very detailed. Very detailed, yeah. The pronunciation, oh my god, it's so easy to get it wrong. And if you, some words, mm. if you get them wrong, mm -hmm. you're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> like, the number 18 mm -hmm. in Korean is ship, ship, pal, ship, pal. Yes, good. If you pronounce it a little bit wrong, you're going to say a curse word. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, bad! It is, it is. Okay. So back to Pulgum. Yes. Example mm -hmm. for this would be it is the end of the week and I'm just jumping around the office going like Pulgumita, Pulgumita, na na na, yeah. Yeah, it's over! No. Yes? Okay. But like, what's over? Uh, like TGIF. Yes! Yeah! 100%! Oh, really? That's what it oh is. my god! Yes! Kum mm -hmm. part is kumyoil, mm -hmm. which is Friday. And pul comes from fire. So like flaming Friday, that's the literal translation of this. But it basically means like, thank God it's Friday. I'm so excited if it's Friday. Like, I've just been waiting for this. Wow! So, now moving on to slang word number nine. Nine. Yay. Oh, this one's gonna be difficult, I think. Sachawan. 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 Such a one clue, please. Okay, yeah. Ugh, you actually called me that earlier today. Yes, um, it's a good term. It's not. It's not negative. Of course, <laughs> you are so beautiful. <laughs> Literally, she's, she's been telling this to me the entire day. <laughs> <laughs> because from the bottom of my heart, I am. It's not flatter. Oh, I. I so this cute. I'm telling from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Funny. No, it's not funny. But thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, it's more about your personality and the kind of person you are and like jumpy not happy person not jumpy not happy oh I don't think I, I think this is too difficult because if I can't even explain this word so a lot of Korean celebrities people refer to them actually as Satoon this is a random fact that I read on the internet. Okay. I don't think this is gonna help you in any way. Think about, oh, when we were having a conversation about how many really weird things I had happened to me in my life. D did I say strange? Yes. Is this the worst? Yes, kind of. Peculiar. Like, yes, but yes, yeah, I, I will count this as injong. I will count this as correct. Satawon means a very weird person, like a different person, but not in a negative way. Like, ah. you, you know how there's the first dimension, second dimension, third dimension? Satawon, literal translation, is fourth dimension. Mm. So you're like out of this world kind of person, like you're an alien type. Like not an alien, but like you think differently from other people. So that's what Satchawan means. I'm glad! <laughs> yes, I said you are different. I yeah, said I this, remember. I remember, yes. We were talking about that, so oh, okay. that's what Satchawan means. Oh. And now, finally, to the last slang word of today, which I thought to finish off on something really easy. Okay. At least I think it's kind of easy, but now that I'm having second thoughts, maybe not. Because <laughs> my judgment apparently is not that clear when it comes to these words. <laughs> So this word is some, some, some. Okay. To me, it sounds like some. S O M S O M E. Yes. Some. What? Yes. Okay. That's what it comes from. It's it's kind of like a Korean 
way of saying the English word S-O-M-E, some. Oh, okay, okay. But the Korean meaning of that word is different than in English. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so in, in Korean, nam means m man and nyo means girl. Okay. So a lot of the times when people refer to a, a boy and a girl, they can say Sonya or Sonnam. But these mini. boy not mini. Oh that's cute. No, it's not mini. Okay. It's kinda like but that boy and girl, they're not random boy and girl. They they because of the type of oh I don't want to use the words. <sighs> <laughs> this term usually gets used by like people in universities and like young people and like young boys and girls what they tend to do during that time. Okay. Are you dating? Yes, but what kind of dating? Uh, serious. Mm. Uh, like, like, uh, like, uh, the opposite of serious, basically. A fling. Oh, so like, okay. are you having a thing? Like, you're not yet boyfriend and girlfriend, <sighs> but you're like, then getting, getting to know each other. And that is what Koreans would call some. I see! That was 10 Korean slang words. I feel Thank like this you. was a journey. This was a tough journey. I think I am definitely going to, you know, remember these Korean words. Then maybe you can test me when I see you next time. Yes. Next time we are going to go for lunch. I'm going to text you and be like, do you want to go to go for some chimek? You want to have some chimek? Chimek! Chimek call? Kokushin! <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for Cameron for being here. I will put all the links to her channel in the description. Watch her videos. She's amazing. She's showing her life here in London, which I really should do more of in my videos as well. And with that said, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and I'll see you all really, really soon in my upcoming videos. Bye. Annyeong. Annyeong. Bye. Go <laughs> <laughs>